The first ever recorded ransomware attack dates back to 1989. It was called the Age Trojan, and cyber criminals demanded users send money to a post office box in Panama. Nowadays, ransomware attacks have become so sophisticated. Cyber criminals now offer customer support to assist victims in paying the ransom and restoring their files. Yes, you heard it right. Ransomware with a help desk. In simple terms, ransomware is a type of malicious software. It is designed to deny access to a computer system or files until a sum of money or ransom is paid. There are different ways that ransomware can infiltrate the system. This can happen via phishing emails, malicious attachments, or compromised websites, or even a public Wi-Fi. Once inside, the malware encrypts files, making them unreadable. Ransomware attacks can come in different forms. The first is locker ransomware. This type blocks standard computer functions from being accessed until payment is transferred to the hacker. Then there is scareware. This type of ransomware is basically fake software that claims to have detected a virus or other issue on your computer. Then it directs you to pay to resolve the problem. Ransomware can cause data loss or data breaches. To protect yourself from data loss, always make sure to have backups of your data. And in the event of data breaches, one thing that can mitigate this issue is having strong access controls in place. This is where multi-factor authentication comes in. This ensures that only the right people have the access they need. There are many other prevention methods out there, like updating your systems with the latest security patches and having strong antivirus programs installed. If you ever find yourself in a position where you have been affected by ransomware, one of the things you can do is visit nomoreransom.org. This is a website that has a number of decryption tools for most known ransomware packages and in some cases can help decrypt specific encrypted files. Thank you for watching the whole video. Remember to use a password manager. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.